In the next release for CI-CD, we're looking to help you simplify integration with your existing DevOps CI-CD workflows using additional SnapLogic public APIs. This will allow you to build up test environments from CI-CD workflows by creating project spaces and projects automatically. You can then clone and pull your repo branches into these test environments, test them, and promote them to additional environments. You'll be able to modify permission of project spaces and projects directly in your CI-CD workflow. And you'll be able to leverage open source CI-CD tasks such as Teams integration. And most importantly, no metadata snaps or custom trigger pipelines are required. Now, let's talk about the details of the demo. So we're going to show this in Azure DevOps. We're going to be doing SnapLogic pipeline development on feature branches. When you do the feature branch commit, it will automatically trigger Azure DevOps to build the test project and run the tests. Then we'll manually create a PR that will merge into main. That PR will be approved. Now this can be automated if the tests pass. And the main branch merge will automatically trigger Azure DevOps to deploy to staging. Now for this demo, for simplicity, different project spaces in a single org are used for each stage but projects can be migrated and cloned into different orgs. So now let's start the demo. First, I'm going to open up github.com, GitHub and here you can see our project. You can see we're looking at the new feature branch. There's also main. And you can see the current commit number here. Now if we go over to the manager, we can see the same project have this in a dev project space. You can see checked out is a new feature and the same commit number. In this project, we have the YAML file for the Azure pipelines. We have different tests that can be run to check uh, regressions for the pipeline. We have the test harness, the actual pipeline itself, and a readme markdown file for the repo. You can also see we have a project space for a test environment and a staging environment. So now if we look at Azure DevOps, you can see this triggers on either the feature branch or the main branch. And we have different jobs for each. So this test job will trigger uh, when the feature branch um, is merged and then the promote will trigger when the main branch is merged. So now let's make a small change to the pipeline. We'll just increment this one field in the mapper. Then we'll go over to the manager and we'll commit and push that change. So it shows that the pipeline was modified. We commit. And now if we go over to Azure Pipelines, within a few moments, we'll see that pipeline kick off. Here it is. You can see it's kicked off for the new feature branch, and it's going to run the build test project and run the tests. So this is creating a test project space, a test project. It's now cloning the repo to that test project, and then it's going to run some tests on that. and then we'll go take a look at the results. We can also get update on Teams. So here you can see run number 77 was started. I was notified about that. If I reload the manager and go down to the test project space, you can now see it's created a test project for build 77, clone those changes, and run the test against that. So now we're going to create the pull request. There you can see our commit number. And we're going to request that we bring in the changes in our feature branch into main. Here you can see the diff that shows where I incremented 17 to 18. 
create that pull request. The tests have passed, so we'll go ahead and merge. And there we go. So now we can go over to pipelines and we'll see that the promote job is kicked off because we did that merge into main. And what this is doing is, again, if it doesn't exist, creating the project space and a project in the staging environment. Uh, it's checking out the repo, uh, the main branch to staging. Um, then we're also going to update permissions on that staging environment using the public API uh, just to show that new capability. So here you can see the workflow is run. If we reload the manager, we can see now it's updated the same project in staging. Here you can see it's main, F992 for the commit. And here we can see in GitHub the same. And now we'll also take a look at the new permissions. Here you can see as part of the flow, I also added permissions for the group admins in this project space. And you can also see that we were updated about the progress in Teams. So that's it for this demo of CICD. Thanks a lot.